Well, this lovely piece of blue and white china is made by Swinnertons. It's the blue pagoda pattern in the old Alton Ware branding. This is a very early example. Hasn't got the actual old Alton Ware stamp on it, but we do know this is uh, made by them old Alton Ware because they were very characteristic in the glazes they applied. Why do we know it's early? Well, the shape of this dinner plate varies to the later versions. It's much deeper characteristic of production around 1905 or 6 through to just pre-Great War 1914 when there would have been a cessation of production. So the later pieces were much flatter than this. If I just show you the side elevation it's it's a sloping rim whereas the later pieces were almost flat. The pattern comes out over the edge as it should. The glaze condition on this, if I just get some reflection for you, is very, very good for a plate that's cracking 420 years old. Shouldn't use cracking as a description for China, should I? But this is a lovely, lovely plate. Uh, Blue Pagoda is a real version of the sort of old Chinese designs, the best known one being Blue Willow, but this is a version on that. Loved by collectors because of these floral borders. Slightly richer blue cobalt glazes than was used on a lot of Blue Willow ware. And Old Alton ware is really fine English examples of this. Nicely transfer patterned in a flow blue design. This plate, uh, did I show you the reverse? I don't think I did. Classic sort of flow blue. Look at the, the blue plumbing through the indentations and inclusions on this glaze. Absolutely everything's right for a plate made around 1900 to 1914. Just mark simply 78 on the back with the stamp there for reference internally. Beautiful example. Very rare to find an early one like this. It's a little, just a smidge over 10 inch in diameter. Uh, we've got 1920s versions of uh, the 10 inch, but the majority of these plates by the sort of mid 20s or 30s had shrunk down to 9 and 7 eighths, just a slight little bit smaller. They fit together very nicely, but if they're in a stack, you do notice the difference. So do pay attention to the diameter if you are looking to match some existing china. Description below has a link in it taking you through to the URL for the website listing of this plate that's on sale currently on the Vintage and Antiques website. And thank you very much as usual for watching. Bye now.